Pete Moore. Welcome to Gunlight TV. We've got a new optic here from Myopter. Myopter, um, European company, um, makes some quality optics. Uh, and in my opinion, maybe a little overlooked by people in the UK, but they are solid. I've got, I've got a hunting scope with theirs, it's really good. Um, but they've, they've seen the market for tactical type, longer range, precision type scopes, and come up with what they call the Optica 6 series. And there's quite a few scopes in the series. What I have here is a 4.5 to 27 by 50 RD second focal plane. Um, it's got all the whistles and bells, as you can see, and some nice features as well. Um, first of all, the magnification ring is big and chunky. It's bleeding huge. And what they bring with it is a um, throw lever, as you can see, and it offers a four different positions. So you can unscrew it from there, stick it on there, however it suits you to operate it. It can be done. Or you can just take it off if you don't want it. But that's lovely and chunky. Typical European type fast focus there, nice and firm. Um, turrets are a little bit not confusing, but just a bit different. The top turret is a locker. So you lift it up, rotates, bring it down again. The windage turret is not a locker. So it's just, and I'm a bit surprised that they don't make them both locked because you can easily jug, jug your windows as well. But that's the way we opt to do it. The other thing they do, which is quite nice, rather than having little little set screws to hold the turret on, there's a flat plate. And underneath is a um, zero stop position. It's a little bit different, and the, and the instructions, which are of Czechoslovakian and then translated into English, don't come over very well, but in essence, if you can see, I put this back on, you lift it up, and if you look very carefully, you can see there's Allen key, uh, little like Allen screws in there, and what you do, like most systems, you undo the, the, the screws, and you can rotate, if you come in, Ed, you can see there's a like a little lug there, you see that with my finger? Um, that's the actual stop, so once you set your zero, you can then slack that off, wind it in the right direction, and lock it off and you're done. And then all you then do is just find your zero point, drop it down like that, and then just screw this back on. It, it's much better than, uh, so I, I've got a, a night force with zero stop, which is great, but it's a real fiddle to do it and take things on and off. Um, on the left, as usual, you have side parallax which goes from 50 to 100 blah, blah, to infinity and then next to that you have the illumination quite standard optical quality is really good um, length is 360 millimeters weight is 882 grams and it's not a massive scope it probably looks looks bigger than it is um, this one is in quarter inch clicks at 100 yards and you get 96 clicks per turn and just under three full ro um, rotations on elevation. Windage, as I think we can see here, is split into 12 either way. So you've got zero, then one right, one left, which is quite nice. Uh, but the oddest thing is that in, um, in windage, you get four full turns. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised why, because I've never found a scope in these four full turns of windage where having another turn of elevation would have been more beneficial in my opinion. Um, say, it's, it's the co coated, coated, um, coated lenses, um, you've got the up to compensation on here, field of view, um, minimum to maximum, at 100 meters is 7.3, 1.2 meters. Um, the reticle is a, sort of what they call the 4C, it's a bit of sort of German post-like, uh, but they also do other reticles, um, they do ballistic reticles for 6.5 Creedmoor, 308 Winchester, and 223 Rem, as well as some other ones. I've been using this on a number of my rifles and it returns to zero nicely, shoots the box well, no real complaints and ballpark is about six, four hundred. Um, I'll get, I'll put the spec in the end of the, of, of the review, but I reckon 
from the experience I've been shooting this about three or four months now, um, for what is 650 quid, it's a cracking scope and one to look at at a considerably lower price than you might be thinking that this optic. Um, they're brought in by Ruragamo Tech UK, who are now the official Miopta importers. And we'll be looking at others from the Optica series, but this is just the first one. They do pure tactical scopes in first focal plane as well, mill dot reticles, that sort of thing. But be quite honest, for the features you get, this is well worth a look if you're thinking of getting something of the more tactical precision style of optic. See you later.